Hey, hey, what's going on? It's Chase at Ever Bullish, the Stock Sherpa on YouTube. It is Wednesday, middle of the week. I wanted to do a quick review of where we are as far as, as, far as earnings this week, and also some of the trades that I recommended and absolutely crushed. Hopefully you followed, hopefully you're picking up on, uh, on some of the skills that I'm showing you as far as a swing trader, day trader. Um, and that song right there was All I Do Is Win by Snoop Dogg, DJ Khaled, Ludacris, a couple other guys. I think you might know why I chose that one. Um, I'm going to brag a bit here. So first, let's hit up the earnings. Second, we'll talk about the trades and whether or not they're still in play. And then I'll let you get out of here. So uh, anyway, again, all I do is win. Um, I chose that one because we've been winning this week and we want to keep it up. And this is fun and this is positive. And trading is trading can be, uh, it, you know, as fun as any other hobbies out there. So. All right, so, so big earnings week, if you recall, I recommended ERX, which is the, the double bull on the energy sector because energy has been a laggard for the last three weeks in a row. Um, as of yesterday, the energy sector was the best performing sector, followed by the healthcare sector. So um, XLE, which is the, the single time energy sector that ERX is based on, uh, was up one and a half percent. ERX is up over seven and a half percent since I recommended it on Sunday. If you were to purchase even midday on Monday, you'd be reaping those benefits. You'd probably be up even more than that. Um, secondarily, healthcare uh, came in as the second. Healthcare and financials were kind of the two next best uh, performing sectors. So uh, that's right where we were. I feel really good about that call. I think that was easy if you had your eyes open and you would absolutely have uh, you know seen that. So. Keep, keep following what I'm following and we can really dissect these sectors. Uh, Ethereum is just running like, a you know, the, the train has left the station on that one. Ethereum is just absolutely rocking out. That is a holding of the Ever Bullish One portfolio that is purchasable on my website. Uh, your broker won't put Ethereum or Bitcoin into their portfolios, not until they can make money off of it by charging an expense ratio inside of a mutual fund that they design. And then they'll start double charging you for it. Uh, I just say buy the ETF, hold it in your portfolios as a cash and gold or a hard metal hedge. Uh, so anyway, Ethereum is crushing it. Bitcoin's on its way back. That was a flash crash, kind of like I said before. Um, Harley went uh, through the roof. Uh, a couple of biotechs went through the roof. Crocs outperformed. UPS beat earnings by, by a huge amount. They're up over 10% uh, yesterday. Uh, Crocs, as I mentioned, was up 15% yesterday. Tesla beat revenues uh, and beat earnings, but actually fell. So we'll see what it did today. That doesn't scare me at all. Tesla is always kind of trading uh, post news. Um, it, it kind of front runs its stock price when it comes to earnings. So uh, I might actually trade that tomorrow. Google. Um, you know, actually doubled Wall Street's estimates of uh, of, of revenues, uh, given the uptick in uh, ad revenues and uh, just commerce in general going uh, coming back post COVID. So uh, Google is also holding up the ever bullish one portfolio. Microsoft beat expectations. So Microsoft beat expectations. Uh, and has a almost 20% year over year growth. So what we're seeing here is that tech is crushing it. And um, a lot of the fodder around interest rates and whether or not the things are gonna go through the roof and whether or not big tech and whether or not, uh, you know, the largest sector of the S&P 500, which is the tech sector, um, is, uh, is worthy of the high prices right now. I think we're seeing that they are. AMD also beat earnings, uh, citing strong execution and robust market demands. So that's the hypothesis. I could go into a little bit more detail, but uh, I want to keep this thing short. If you were to, if you followed, um, I'm sure you're uh, excited, or you ought to be. I'm excited. I'm gonna hold on to ERX. I'm gonna. Uh, I've already ditched LabVIEW. If you're holding it, there's still. I, I think it's still a good hold. I might re be rebuying it. The GBTC. It's up again today. So another winner. Um, Lordstown Motors is still flat, but that's still my favorite stock of the year. And I've got a couple. Oh, EOG was up five and a half percent today and one and a half percent yesterday, uh, as I'm making this video here at 10 a.m. So uh, good things all around. This is the ever bullish advantage. This is the ever bullish edge. 
fire your broker, get out of your dog shit mutual funds, uh, 75 bucks for a portfolio online, and then you can follow along on YouTube and learn how to manage it and beat the market. I don't think there's a lot better out there than that uh, as far as the value agenda. So anyway, Chase Ever Bullish, the Stock Sherpa on YouTube, everbullish.com, the Ever Bullish One podcast. And I'm out. I hope everybody has a great day. Get rich.